Good morning. Uh, my name is State Representative Michael McAuliffe, and I would like to thank you for coming to discuss a critical public safety issue and one that is targeting our veterans on this Memorial Day. I hope to increase awareness about the hepatitis virus, a disease that the Centers for Disease Control is calling a silent epidemic. And it's called that for good reason. Early stages of hepatitis shows virtually no symptoms. Hepatitis C attacks the liver, often leading to cirrhosis, and if left untreated, cancer if not caught early. You have a less than 5% chance to survive cancer beyond five years. I did not know a lot about hepatitis when I began this journey, but I've learned a lot since, since then about the virus, and perhaps the most important takeaway is that you don't have to die from hepatitis. Yet, an estimated four to five million people in the United States have hepatitis, and as many as 75% of those infected remain unaware that they have it. In many cases, the infected person can unknowingly spread the disease. The key to survival is knowing if, you're, if you are at risk and getting tested early. My wife Kim and brother-in-law Ross are here today to talk about their experience. My father-in-law passed about a year ago from liver failure. It was a result of having hepatitis C and not getting the proper treatment. He was a Vietnam, vet, Vietnam era veteran, which is one of the at-risk categories for hepatitis. In fact, each hour of every day, three people die from hepatitis C, and two out of three people have military backgrounds. The VA found that one in 10 veterans has the hepatitis C virus, and two-thirds of those are from the Vietnam era. The Centers for Disease Control issued guidelines re recommending that all baby boomers be tested for hepatitis C, citing studies suggesting that more than 2 million Americans born between 1945 and 1965 may be infected with the virus. But some of the most common risk factors have been identified as anyone who received a blood transfusion prior to 1992, is a Vietnam era veteran, received an organ transplant, has abnormal liver function tests, is infected with the HIV virus, or has used a needle to inject drugs or possibly even a tattoo. We know that people are, are unnecessarily suffering and dying from this disease. I know firsthand experience that there is more we should do to educate the public about the risks, to make sure our medical professionals are familiar with the standard of care and ultimately making hepatitis screening for our at-risk population safe, affordable, and convenient. That is why I filed House Bill 3631, which creates the Hepatitis C Task Force. The task force will fall under the Department of Public Health and will consist of 17 members, four elected officials, three state agency directors, 10 public members consisting of members of the medical, patient, and service provider communities. I want to thank all my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for showing their support, especially all the veterans that are here also today. My name is Kim Morielli McAuliffe, and my brother and I are here today to raise awareness about the hepatitis C virus. And it's fitting that we're here on Memorial Day since, as Michael had said, veterans, especially Vietnam area veterans, are on the front line of the hepatitis epidemic, and it is an epidemic. Unfortunately, my dad fell into that category. We believe he was infected while going through basic training in the Army at Fort Campbell, Kentucky during the Vietnam era. Regardless of how people contract the disease, it's important that everybody in the at-risk categories gets tested. While my dad was diagnosed with hepatitis C about 10 years ago, his doctor did not follow the standard of care and refer him to a liver specialist. As a result, hepatitis C had 10 years to destroy his body. The virus developed into cirrhosis and eventually liver cancer. His cancer spread to his bones, and at that point the doctor told us that there was nothing else they could do. He died of liver failure on April 18, 2012, which ironically enough was our son's second birthday. And it was a month after our daughter Bianca was born. Uh, he fought very, very hard to stay alive long enough to see her born. It breaks my heart that he is not here, and I know that he was heartbroken that he wouldn't have the opportunity to watch his grandkids grow up. I do believe with my whole heart that he would still be here today if we had known more about hepatitis C and if his doctor would have followed protocol and gotten him the treatment he needs. And that's really the whole point of us being here today is to really raise awareness. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't wish things could have been different. My dad was only 61 years old. 
He always joked that he had kids so young, so he still had the energy to keep up with his grandkids. Hepatitis C robbed him of that joy and left a void in the lives of everybody who loved him. If you catch hepatitis early, there are treatment options. Hepatitis C is the leading cause for liver transplants in the United States. And I'll never forget the day that the oncologist told us that my dad was not a candidate for a liver transplant. My brothers and I talked about being living donors. We even considered leaving the country um, to see if we can get him a transplant in another country. But once the cancer had spread, we really knew that there were just no more options. The Centers for Disease Control found that there is a lack of knowledge and awareness about the chronic hepatitis virus. And that includes healthcare professionals. There's a lack of knowledge. You go to a doctor and you think that they're gonna have all the answers, but the fact of the matter is, even the healthcare providers don't necessarily know what the standard of care is. The Centers for Disease Control released this report three years ago, and yet people are still walking around unaware that they have the hepatitis virus. Uh, I think Michael mentioned earlier that 75% of the people infected are unaware that they're carrying the virus. The task force is a great first step, but there's something that everybody can do today. If you fall in the at-risk category, get tested. If you're a baby boomer, get tested. It's a simple blood test. You have to ask your doctor specifically for the test. If you go in for a physical, that's not necessarily gonna cover the test that you need. So it's important that you ask specifically to be tested for the hepatitis virus. And what better way is there to honor our veterans and those we love on Veterans Day, on Memorial Day, um, than making sure that they're protected and that they're taken care of. Our veterans should not have to come home to fight the war on hepatitis.